Welcome to our new unit for grade 5. This is the second unit and it's called Matter and Energy in the Organisms and the Ecosystems. Within this unit, your main driving question is going to be how do animals and plants impact the process of energy transfer? Some of the key unit vocabulary that you'll be learning about throughout the unit itself is going to be photosynthesis, sustainability, the water cycle, matter, energy, and decomposers. Again, throughout the unit you'll be learning about these, so you should have a better understanding when the unit is completed about what these terms mean. Next you'll find some of the science standards along with other standards. You can read through those on your own. Some of the outcomes and goals for this unit are going to be you'll be able to describe the basic goals of photosynthesis. So why does photosynthesis occur? You'll also be able to synthesize whether sunlight and water are essential to growth of plants. And you'll be doing that through an experiment that you'll be setting up week one. You will also be able to show what the water or Kelvin cycle is. You'll be able to describe how the movement of matter is impacted by animals. And you'll be able to report on different ways in which matter is moved. Again, your masterpiece this week is this unit is going to have to do with photosynthesis and the Kelvin cycle. And you're going to be writing an informative paper on many different ways in which energy and matter is moved. So you'll be looking at photosynthesis, the Kelvin cycle, you'll also be looking at how animals impact that. There are many ways in which animals can impact the movement of matter, and some of them are actually very fun to learn about, and some of them are going to be more basic. Throughout the unit, and as we build the piece together, there will be videos on YouTube that you should be watching. Make sure that you follow the directions step by step, and try to finish the weekly goals each week. It'll make your life a lot easier at the end of the unit when the last couple steps are going to be more involved with editing. For your week one instructions, the first thing I would like you to do is create a Google document titled Plant Experiments. On this document, you're going to be creating a chart that is seven rows by four columns. And an example of what the first row should look like is below. Make sure that you have the day number along with the term control observations and experimental observations. A control observation is going to be a plant that you are going to be creating. I'll, sh I'll show you the documents in a minute. You'll be uh, creating three different plants. The first one is going to be a plant that has nothing changed about it. This is always called a control because you're going to compare that to your experimental observations. Your experimental observations are going to be where you add in a variable. and A variable is something that changes and you're going to measure to see if that variable impacts how the plant grows. After you set up that sheet, you're going to go into the document here, and it's called Unit 2 Plant Experiment. The first thing I want you to do is get your materials together and read through the directions. Don't necessarily start creating it yet, but read the directions. Again, you're going to be creating three different plants, and there will be, uh, I would like it to be the same plant, and you are going to need to plant these and one of them is going to be in light and you are going to water it. One of them is going to be out of sunlight but with water and one of them is going to be out of sunlight or in sunlight without water. You're going to check to see if sunlight and water are impacting how plants grow. As the unit goes on you're going to be making observations daily and I'd like you to make sure that you uh, write detailed observations. And what I mean by that is you're going to use all of your senses, if it's appropriate, to make these observations. So what does it look like? What does it feel like? If it makes sounds, if you're allowed to taste it, you can do that. Make sure that that's okay with your parents. But you're going to use your senses to write these detailed observations. Make sure that as your plant grows, you also take measurements of that plant. And you can do that in centimeters, you can do that in inches, you can do that in feet, depending on what is appropriate for your plant. For your writing connection this week, again, we are going to be writing an informative paper on the transfer of energy and materials in the environment. This week should be pretty basic, but you're going to watch the YouTube that's located right here, and you're going to create a Google document titled Movements of Matter in Ecosystems. As you watch, you should be setting up your paper with the proper subtitles as it shows within the tutorial. I actually lay out very specifically how your paper should look, so I would expect everyone to have the same section titles that I am creating. Throughout the next five weeks, you'll actually be building your paper. 